Good day, everybody. Uh, today is a beautiful April uh, evening, and I want to just grow, go over the, you know, the, the uh, development of a fig tree during the growing season, all the way up till the time it takes to get fruit. So, basically, if you're thinking about, you know, growing a fig tree, it'll give you some idea of what to expect. Uh, so this is again the first part of April, first part of spring, and it is uh, just starting to bud out. And again, uh, fig trees put fruit out on the old wood, and that'll be your braver crop. And that's usually the best quality fig. And then it'll put out a second crop on the new wood. So we'll go over all that and uh, just quickly give you an idea of the, the cycle of a fig tree. And this, I'm in zone eight, so it may be different in other zones, but I'm in the south in zone eight. So anyway, we'll just stay tuned. Okay, y'all, it is May the 10th. So about a month later, this is how your fig tree should look. Uh, it should be, have all this foliage on it, you know, fully leafed out and it should be starting to form the figs. So as you can see, you'll see there where it, it'll put off, you know, a, a small branch off of the new wood, off the, off the old wood, I'm sorry. And then it'll form a fig right there between the leaf and the branch of that, that newly formed wood coming off the old wood and uh and then that would be what i mentioned that's gonna be your braver crop and that is gonna be produce your your best quality feed um you'll see another one there you can kind of see them all forming along in there and they'll, like i said they're gonna form right in them but that joint of that leaf and the base of the new new wood now the fig trees most fig trees get the term terminology of forever bearing. Uh, matter of fact, some trees had that name, like the Texas forever bearing fig tree. But most fig trees are, in a sense, forever bearing because they'll, you know, continue to put new wood out, or new shoots out. Like right here, it'll get about another six inches to a foot of growth out of that new, that newly formed uh, wood, and it'll form a fig, as you can see, in the joint of that new wood. And then that'll be your secondary crop, uh, which that's kind of how it gets the name forever bearing as it continues to put new wood out, new shoots out, it'll continue to put new um, figs in those joints. But, you know, with the growing season being so short, a lot of times it doesn't have enough energy to get all of those figs right. That's why your braver crop is going to be your best quality fig. It's going to be bigger, sweeter, juicier. And that's what you're going to notice once you start growing figs. Um, so you want to really take care of that braver crop because that's going to give you the best best fruit. Uh, now, depending on the variety and the zone you live in, uh, like I'm in zone 8, this is a celestial fig tree. And I also have a brown turkey fig tree, which is very similar to this one. Now, it will uh, get a good bit of that secondary crop right. Maybe 20, right, maybe 25 to 30 percent of that will get right because we have a pretty good growing season. And those fig trees are pretty well adaptive to you know to um, get those fig trees those figs right uh, but again you know it's just not gonna have enough energy to get all of that that secondary crop right but um, you'll see that and you'll notice that as you you start growing figs um, but anyway this is I just want to give a shot of how they look at this point and I'll be back uh, later maybe next month to show you how they're looking and thanks for watching all right, y'all, here it is, the beginning of July, and I meant to do a video in June, but uh, for the most part, though, in June, they're gonna be green like this, uh, but in July, they'll start the process of first start, you'll see signs of them starting to get right. As you'll see, the uh, those are the braver crop, the ones at the bottom are starting to, you know, starting to get ripe, and then, as you can see, as you come up you'll see some of the secondary figs there uh, some of these probably won't ever reach ripeness but the uh braver crop and maybe the one above the braver crop will 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 get ripe so um usually you, you know you start seeing uh figs start getting a few samples of ripe figs at least in my zone eight um you we usually start getting some samples of maybe around mid july and then you start to see a lot of them start getting right around the end of July, first part of August. So anyway, I'll be back when they start really getting ripe. And 
they'll try, they kind of look small right now but once they start getting right they will kind of explode and get a lot larger now this is a um, celestial fig so it doesn't get quite as big it's kind of a medium size fig uh, but anyway I just want to give a quick update on those fig like I said the majority of them are still green and you'll notice that um, like I said it does depend on what zone you're in on how fast they'll get right we'll be back all right y'all today is July 30th so we know in August the figs are starting to get right um, that's the perfect sign of rightness when you see the little cracks in the skin that's when I like to get them that's when they have their peak of ripeness I do this right here is a little too overripe but they are the riper you can get them that one fell off the riper you can let them get before the ants start getting attracted to them or your, the birds start getting attracted to them really the better they are you know uh, you just don't want that eye to open um, usually that eye stays closed if you can get them let them get a day or two right like this one right here a day or two right past the cracking stage they can really get sweet as sugar and this right here is a uh, celest celestial fig and they also call it a sugar fig and it's a, it gets very sweet not a very big fig but but uh so there you have it the figs uh we went all the way through the whole process from the start to finish so we're now starting to get some ripe figs and we'll get ripe figs all the way through probably the first week in August or maybe mid-August. Um, this this year right here is a, not a bumper crop year. Um, you know, last year they had a bumper crop, so I guess this year it's taking a little bit of a break. But um, we got a lot of figs just ready to get right. All right, there's in good shape to be picked. Yeah, well, I'll let that one stay. It's a little firm. But uh, that one right there is ready to be harvested. But uh, as you can see, you know, that's the braver crop fig. And as you go up, you'll see the second and third tier figs. So we'll probably get uh, that second tier will probably get right. But uh, the third tier, like those right there, probably won't reach right. Especially this year because this year looks like it's an off year. So. Some years I notice when the tree is loaded, uh, you know, we have a big braver crop, then the tree must be full of energy and it does get a little more of them ripe than normal. So uh, they do have years where um, the second and third and fourth year, fourth tier figs will get ripe, but I, I just don't predict that'll be the case this year. So but anyway, I appreciate you for watching the video and I hope um, this encourages you to grow a fig tree and give you an idea of uh, you know how long it's going to take you to get figs and the growth cycle um, of a fig tree uh, especially from a zone 8 perspective but um, thanks for watching and please subscribe